Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the Ladder Logic Normally Open Contact. Three things to know. Now, Normally Open or NO contacts or inputs into the PLC Ladder Logic program does not mean the same thing as a wired Normally Open switch. Normally Open contacts on the Ladder Logic provide the logic condition for the rung in order for it to turn on the output. We will be looking at three things to know about the Normally Open or NO contact on our ladder logic program. The normally closed norm, uh, ladder logic contact will also be discussed at the end. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So the first thing is ladder logic normally open contact condition. Now the ladder logic normally open provides a condition on the ladder logic rung and ladder logic rungs usually consist of one or more input conditions that must be active to, to turn on the output. This rung input when active on or one will allow the rung to be active at that point. So if we look at here on our X1 or X0, I should say contact, you'll see that right now, the condition of this is currently off. That means that the output here will be off. So let's call up our simulator and we'll just put it over in the side. And what you'll see is when we turn on X0, it allows that rung now to be active and turns on the F output Y0. So um, so the sample rung has one normally open contact and one output and the normally uh, open condition when not active the output is not active when the input condition is active like it is right now the output is active so it actually operates directly to the what's happening on the input side so also um, we can have um, normally open contacts in rungs and they in the inputs on the ladder can be done in series and in series here you'll see the three in series here so we'll need x0 1 and 2 on and then the output will in turn on y1 or we can do it in parallel so any one of these on will operate the output here so that is the first Ladder logic normally open can a contact condition. So that's what we are looking at here. All right. Next, what we'll do is just go down a little bit. And the second thing we will talk about is the ladder logic normally open contact is just a memory bit. Now the normally open contact input on the ladder logic, just a memory brick within the PLC. A cyclic scan of the PLC consists of reading the input, solving logic, diagnostic and communication, and setting the outputs. So during that scan, we read the inputs and will transfer that information to an internal memory bit. This means the ladder logic can manipulate its value. So take a look at the next example here that we have. And again, I will call up our simulator. And in this case here, I will turn on X3. X3 turns on Y3. However, Y3 down here is not turned on and output Y4 is not turned on because here we have the normally off condition and we're turning off X3. So again, we're acting as an input to turn off that internal memory bit so it will not activate. So think of, think of all the inputs that we have as just memory internally that we can see. So we can turn that on and off or manipulate the bits as we please within that controller. And you can see if I do X4, it'll turn on Y4. But Y3 or X3 will not turn on uh, Y4 because of this rung here causing that internal memory bit to turn off. So remember that it's just these contacts are just memory bits within that PLC that you can manipulate any way you would like. So the first two uh, 
of these issues, we've been using the Do More Designer software, and it comes with that free simulator. And it's a fully functional free software that will allow you to try the programs without purchasing any hardware. The simulator will even communicate Modbus TCP and MQTT for your skater or IoT applications. Now, the third thing about normally open contacts is they're not the same as wired inputs. So let's just take a look at our, our wiring diagram here. And what you'll notice is that we have our power supply and we're feeding uh, plus voltage into the PLC input on the common of our input card. Then we have a normally open push button, which fed into the first input and a normally closed fed into the second input of the PLC. And what we can do is actually look at that PLC and we will, there we go, look at that PLC and you can see that we have our uh, PLC right here. We have our wiring just the same. So we have our plus voltage going to our common of the PLC. Then we have our green push button with the green wire here going into the first input of our PLC. And we have our stop wired up normally closed going into the second input of the PLC. And you'll notice that normally when we wire things up, they are color coordinated. So this is my normally open contact. It's in blue. My normally closed is in red. And typically any e-stop circuit or stop circuit will always be a normally closed condition. So that's going into the PLC. And you can see right now, because we have voltage onto the input side, you will see that my input one does not have any voltage here, it's off. And my input two has voltage because we have the normally closed contact coming from our stop signal. So that is on. Calling up our click software, we can see that here is our software right here. And right now, number two is actually on or active, as we can see, because we have the normally closed. If we were to hit the start, you can see that my start signal now comes on. I have my output and it seals it in using that output sealing contact in our start stop latching circuit. And I let go of the start, you can see that it maintains it because of that latch. If I want to stop it, I hit the stop button. It breaks that circuit and then stops it, let go of it. And it again, it activates X2 because of the normally closed wiring, even though it's showing normally open contact on our ladder logic. And so the last thing that we'll talk about is the ladder logic normally closed contact. So if we take a look at another start stop circuit, but we're using the set and reset this time. And that means the X one will actually set it. So which it does and X two will reset it. Well, you'll see that we actually used X two because if we used it like we did in our first condition or our first rung, it would be on all the time. That means that it would always be resetting this output. And we don't normally want to do that because we want to also be able to start it. So that can cause trouble sometimes when you're initially doing your program and figuring out what the inputs and outputs are. I know this can be sometimes confusing, especially in troubleshooting the PLC. So always refer back to the way in which the signals are wired to the PLC for clarification. So. How have you handled this in your applications? Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. 
Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.